hear me at the back? Right. Now, I would not be as lengthy as Isu because you can't control Isu. So I've never tried. I, my task this afternoon is a very simple one. To welcome all of you to our humble home, which I hope when the, uh, the benefits or the purpose of the Mori House Trust is explained, will be the gap, fills the gap culturally in our society. I don't have much to say except welcome, but two hours ago, Isabel looking through some old Kaiko Peralgo's, 1991, I believe, found two pieces of notes written in David's handwriting. I will not read the whole thing, but it seems that it was an introduction, one to Martin Carter and one to Ian McDonald. And I will just read the relevant bits this afternoon. Um, first, Ian. Antiguan by ancestry, or Guyanese by adoption, West Indian by conviction. <laughs> Since 1955, he lived and worked abroad. Retired recently, man of letters, patron of the arts, novelist, poet, and commentator. He is absolutely known for his viewpoint. Better, I can't read David's handwriting, I'm so loved. He did write me on love letters in his time. It was easier then to read it. <laughs> and regular newspaper contributions. The Hummingbird Tree, first published in 1969, was Royal Society of Literature Prize, won the Royal Society of Literature Prize for the best regional novel. A widely used as textbook in regional schools, he was a fellow of Royal Society of Literature, in 1984, he reviewed Kaiko Peral, revived Kaiko Peral with A.J. Seymour. Published many poems, his first full collection, Mercy Ward, in 1988. Active in organizing Guyana Prize for Literature, and prime mover in Demerara Publishers Limited, which is no longer. Priceless cultural assets, energetic and productive in many fields, Cultural life in Guyana would have been, not have been the same without him. That's David's tribute to Ian, which I read. I'm told I need to catch my voice. <laughs> now for Martin, which is even more difficult. Uh, it said points of resistance. University of Hunger. These are all shorthand notes, you know, I'm doing the best I can. Death of a comrade, not hands like mine. I confirm, I come from the Nigger Yard. Detention camp at Atkinson Field for three months. This this is David's notes about introducing. I'm now getting into David's mind to tell you what he was going to think and say about Martin, which we all knew. But it's nice we should be reminded of that. And having found this, I think this is his presence here this afternoon, which makes this event worthwhile. 1977, Poems of Succession. 1980, Poems of Affinity. Um, poems of Mortality to Come. That was at this time, I have no date. Selected poems published in 1989 by Demerara Publishers Limited on Stabrook News Press. I well remember that, and Vanda was very involved in that hoofing and sending everybody mad. <laughs> um, <laughs> Ian's introduction. Ian's introduction. This must be Ian's input with David on Martin, which he says, it's a fair assessment. Martin uh, certainly is certainly the most accomplished Guyanese poet Martin has reflected our mood of despair, but in very much a pro but in very much product of our soil. Our society has been greatly enriched by his work. He has been an indispensable interpreter of our modern history. And with that, I welcome you all to this evening's event, and I hope you enjoy.